For this edition of Know Your Stuff, we're with famed author Jack Womack in his lovely home. Uh, and uh, it's very exciting to speak to you here about collectibles and collecting. Uh, certainly, Know Your Stuff, you know more stuff than just about anybody I know. So, where did you start? Well, I began collecting basically as you know, boys with, with minimal social skills tend to do. <laughs> At a very early age. So the first things I collected were um, when I was like six or so, and then I was collecting coins. At the time, you could still get silver coins uh, in change, and you could still go to the bank and buy silver dollars or exchange them for dollar bills. And so it's much easier to start with older coins because there are still many more older coins in circulation. I started collecting books pretty much when I was seven, and then started my main part of the collection, the Forteana, the Flying Saucers. Those I all started collecting when I was eight. Now, let me ask yeah. you, now, as, as far as, you know, so you start collecting books. Right. Um, obviously, you're a voracious reader as a child. And, and did your book collecting kind of creep into your eventual, uh, you know, becoming a writer? Yeah, that's, of course, that's come in handy in writing, especially when I'm able to put it together with a fairly skewed perspective. Now, I know we've, we've discussed this in the past, but I thought it would make an interesting story. The... Um, you know, that one book that was, you know, like your grail piece. Oh, that oh, to, oh, yeah. that I looked for. All right, Harold T. Wilkins is one of the greatest, if most ridiculous, writers in English of the past hundred years. And he was, this, he was an English journalist, and he writes very well, but he writes like no one else. He writes very intensely, and in some sentences I defy you to parse. Uh, but he had a great interest in pirate treasure, and mysteries, and later on in life in Fertayan and Flying Saucers, he wrote two of the most deliriously wild flying saucer books there are. Uh, but he also wrote a book called Mysteries of the Great War. And, as I finally discovered, Mysteries of the Great War is his one book that's actually s serious, that actually has useful information, a lot of it, it's like a 500-page book, and uh, I started looking for it. By the late 90s, especially with ABE, when that came up and I was able to start doing internet searches, I was able to discover that no military bookstores had ever even heard of it. And I was able to find records of libraries that was supposedly at, though one would assume that probably copies are gone by this point. Uh, but then finally, on ABE, a copy turned up in 2004, 2005. So this has been a 30-year search, at least. Yeah, yeah, 35. 35 closer. years. Uh, and it finally turned up. And it was a price that was, like, ridiculous. Well, it was, like, it was $450. It wasn't ridiculous, considering how long I looked for it, considering it's probably one of the very few copies <laughs> around. Can we take a look at that book? Oh, oh yes, yeah, of course, of course, yeah. So, where do you think collecting is going in the future? I, mean, you've been collecting your whole life. I really am very dubious. For one thing, the collecting hangouts that you used to have have gone online because the combination of the internet uh, and the rising rents everywhere, at least where there are people and enough collectors to make such a store valid, um, they're just dying. You know, the record stores, the DVD stores, the book stores, new and used, but also, you know, I mean, it's why antique stores are in antique yeah. malls. Yeah. It's why, you know, even in small towns, you know, they're always having sales because no one's buying anything. I'm thinking we're going to see more and more of a return to the idea of collecting as simply for, as a decorative, well, like books, you know, or collecting just for the sake of collecting. Well, Jack, this has been awesome. Thank you so much. Of course. You know, it's of such course. a pleasure to speak to you and talk to you about this kind of stuff. Of course. Thanks, buddy. All right. All right. All right.